Hello everyone, this is Warpster77 tuning into another video, and today we're back in Don't Starve Land. Well, winter has arrived, and we are needing a great, great providences of... I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I had something intelligent sounding in my head, but immediately went south when I started spouting out nonsense. I overprepared for a much greater threat that didn't exist because guess what it was my footsteps not him breathing it was just footsteps <laughs> oh i feel dumb anywho we are just coasting through life here in winterland of basic survival now what i'll tell you is the bare essentials of code surviving in this place if you want to even think about surviving in the winter time of Don't Starve Land. It's pretty simple. All you have to do, don't fucking do stupid shit. One, don't be like me and go out without a thermal stone. This is a thermal stone. Now, I made this off camera, which was stupid of me, but I panicked at the last moment and totally forgot I needed to. So a thermal stone, you just take some rocks, flint, and a pickaxe pickaxe can be used don't matter just as long as it's some sort of pickaxe and this will keep your <laughs> temperature up now you warm it up keeping it by the fire usually two logs will get it piping hot red and that should have and I think that's enough for it to be it's at be at its maximum if you will Oof, I have lots of monster meat. Oh, okay. It's not like I'm going hungry or anything. So, this is a relatively good place to be in. This is a good, this is good. This is a good station, good survival. Holy shit. Chester, you've been hoarding things from me. How dare you? Sack of garbage. No, Chester, I would never say that something like that to you. Although, these are gonna spoil. Hmm. Meatballs! It is. <laughs> we are going to be making some meatballs just to survive through the winter. Now, a good recipe for it is jerky. Oops. Yeah, I could use berries too. This should be enough. I believe it's just two filler and two meat sources. Doesn't have to be meat meat because that's a waste and I'll tell you what I'll say that for. But cooked things will spoil faster than non-cooked things. Just gonna let you know that right now. Now, food, food, will sp depending on what it is, will spoil faster than the raw. So always make sure you have the bare minimum foods rather than making just a bunch of eloquent dishes that will go to waste. Meatballs, I believe, are the things that you would want to have if you are planning on carrying lots of food around. Because meatballs are, one, not expensive, Two, don't really have anything too valuable as far as assets go. Three, they fill about half your hunger, so it's not like it's a total waste. And they don't really have any adverse effects. So what you're going to want to do primarily if you're planning on sticking through this winter, if you've survived that long, just stick close to your traps. Pray they work, because I think actually if you plan on... Uh, getting the best effects you're gonna want to just kind of let them out of your sight for a little bit so the rabbits can spawn and there's not a lot of time for traps to go about so kind of check them at dusk right now I'm gonna make another fridge because oh thank god the birds are coming to save the day and I forgot how to make them oh I have suddenly remembered how to make them wow I have a lot of food. I have a lot of crap Anywho, so until something interesting comes along in this winter time, or something that I forgot to mention arrives, I'll be right back with you. Well, shit, I forgot I was insane, so these are beardlings. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna get anything. I don't need nightmare fuel right now is the thing. How much nightmare fuel do I have anyway? I have four. If I want nightmare fuel, I can go pick evil flowers and I don't think I'm gonna need any nightmare fuel for anything that I have in mind 
Aside from the dark sword, but I'm not planning on making that bitch anytime soon because one, it's not really any more effective than... Well, I don't have a tentacle spike either, so... Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I have two of them. Fuck, I don't need that damn thing. Uh, so, I don't know about being insane during wintertime because if you have to run from those goddamn awful monsters, it's not going to be pleasant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep the night off, and I'm not going to waste my silk in the efforts of making a tent. Because I have lots of straw, and this is why I made sure I have it. So I can just go to survival, make a straw roll, and just put it out asleep. Now you're going to be hungry as all hell, so make sure you don't make a roar on fire, because it'll automatically go out anyway. So, make sure that's there, got some food in the belly, and I am well over the limit of insanity for those little bastards to turn evil. Yay! Food. Edible food, primarily. So, just keep that in mind. If you're insane and you're working with beardlings, just take a nap. You have lots of nights to sleep off. And in fact, a best... Okay, getting a little chilly. The best way to rush through winter is by sleeping. Just sleep it off, get lots of food, sleep it through, and don't have to worry about all this bullshit. Unfortunately, I'm not in that comfy of a position. So, I have to, unfortunately, bear the burdens of that is winter. Of that is winter. Brilliant wording there. Murder. No, let's not do that. Keep putting my damn berries away, son of a bitch. So, anywho. Good advice, if you have lots and lots and lots of food, just sleep winter through. Make a tent. Which is six silk. Here, I'll, I'll look it up for you. One memento there. And there's the meatballs. Alright, yeah, so tent. It's under survival. It's right on a sleep roll. Yeah, sticks, rope, silk. If you get sleep six nights through, with no need to start worry of starvation or lack of resources thereof, do it. <laughs> Fucking sleep through winter, because winter sucks. All the same, winter does have little benefits. One being, you don't have to worry about... Well, actually, I think you have to worry about a lot more shit. Because I'm thinking about the walrus camps, freezing your ass off, all that other kind of jazz, so... Yeah, winter sucks. End of story. <laughs> Anywho, I'll be back when something interesting or something comes to mind again. Well, it's that time of the week. No, nope, fucking dogs are coming. I did a little camp reorganizing. I can now have my blowgun department, my rare drops, basic supplies, surplus, random shit, and then more goodies, mainly drops. And now the dogs will come, and I have a feeling they're gonna strike at midnight, which is gonna be a bitch. So I have a feeling we're going to need to. Oh! They're already on their fucking way. They waste no time. <sighs> well. Pengles way the fuck up there. Don't have the time of day to pull that shit off. Unless... I could jump through that wormhole. Down here. Which saves quite a bit of time. Because I think it's this one that I pop up on. Either one. I'm jumping up over this place. The dogs won't follow me. So there's no point. I could just run over to the beefaloes. Yeah, I have time. Oh, there's only two of you? Nope, there they are. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, shit, there's five. Yo, fleshy bull. Bite their asses. Wait, are there a lot of beefaloes? Oh, shit. Well, this will be easier than I thought. Kill him. Come here, bitch. Ow, motherfucker. Of course. I wish the combat in this game was a little less dick -a tree I don't think I'm collecting the spoils from those guys, because you know what? They are red-assed as a baboon. But I can kill you, though. 
Oh shit, I forgot to pick up my goddamn thermal stone. See, remember when I said at the start of this episode, don't do stupid shit? This is one of those. Always grab your thermal stone. It's way more important than a log suit, because the cold will kill you faster than the fucking dogs will. Jesus. Well, crisis averted entirely. Yay! So, like, drop. Wilson. Drop. There you go. Oh, I don't know why I didn't just burn the top. I'm stupid. Okay, it's time to cook these things. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to cook all this crap. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to then feed it to that bird over there. Just force feed that little bitch. And I'm gonna get some eggs. So we can have some pierogi. Because it looks like I'm getting a little hungry and low on the sanity department. And pierogi will heal you more- Ugh, I need to kill this fucking bird, sorry. Just son of a bitch. You go in there. Oh, hi, big, tall, and fucking ugly. Um, so I'm gonna force feed that bird so that we can get some eggs going here. But I might hold off on it till the meat starts to spoil, because you want to optimize your time is the thing. But I have no eggs, so I'm gonna get a couple of eggs. Boop and boop. One, two, perfect. Just a little batch of eggs to make some pierogi. Cause pierogi here, I think I've gone on to a whole rant of how good pierogi is and how easily effective it is to make. Easily, how accessibly easy it is to make. And I actually have no carrots, which is a big downer because carrots is the vital essence of pierogi. And pierogi in turn will make life much, much easier because it increases sanity, increases health, and slightly increases hunger. And I think, again, I think I've told you guys this. Well, let's pop her in. Oh yeah, bam, bam, boom. The only thing it doesn't fill up too much is the hunger department. So, if you're a little hungry and you need to bind, uh, bind up some wounds, pierogi is your answer. It's better, it's better than two healing salves. And I only use the healing salves for emergencies or when I'm on escapades and I don't have pierogi. So, remember, optimize your resources. And that's my little tidbit on this bit. This is gonna go out, burn this bitch. Ah, nice and toasty farm. Anyways, oh, oh, well that was a fucking stupid waste of it. Oh, well. I guess I could make some blowguns. If I, oh! Let's go hunting. That's how we'll wrap it up. We'll go look for a little track somewhere around. So, when I find a track, I'll see you there. I totally forgot I never showed you guys how to make a blowgun. So, what you do is you take this little tidbit here, some two reeds, a hound's tooth, and some feathers. It only makes one, so use it well, use it wisely, all that shit. It's just long distance damage primarily. It's not the most powerful as is, uh say the fire staff or the actual fire blowgun and the sleep darts are nice but they only work on little animals and dogs so they're not really something you want to shoot at like i say a tree guardian or fucking deer clops they only work on little things so if you want to instead get like a blowgun or a red feather or a rabbit if you're starving that's what you use the sleep darts for but I don't have any bees, so I'm gonna go look for a track. I'll see you then. Look at this lone flower surviving in the world in which it is darkened. Trek on, young flower. Trek on. I need to get my ass to the little four camp so I can warm up. Okay. It's just north of here, so this should be... Ooh. Quickly, quickly. Oh, I hear that fucking little gobbler. I don't think one dart will kill him, so I don't want to waste two. And I don't want to even think about using my fire staff on a little bitch like that. Oh! The eggs. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right, the fucking dog killed them all, right. Huh, I forgot about that. Anywho, 
need a book it just straight north. I hate the snow because I can't see where the fuck the road is. Well, there's the beehive, so all things are well. Safe. Nice and warm. Alright, I dropped the thermal stone to heat the fuck up. Plant you. Anyway, I shall continue my escapade at dawn. Or I'll scout out the area a little bit and then we'll go at dawn. Idea. I'm gonna kill that little bird bitch. It's not as tough as a koala It doesn't drop nearly as much meat. But it's something. And I want its egg. I want my own little tall bird. And tall birds are great to raise in the winter because they'll grow in the winter time and you won't really have the risk of too much shit because you know when you're in the summertime you're running around doing all sorts of crazy crap fighting things but in the winter you're kind of just chilling at base so i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner and winter actually is almost near its end so this is a great head start to get that little bitch hatched because once he's hatched he's on to you like glue so i won't be able to do all the crazy adventuring and shit with the risk of losing our little buddy and i I'm gonna lay out an Easter egg and I'll name him the name when he is born. But we will wait at dawn. Or how many of those tall bird eggs are there? There's two. Hmm. I think I'll get get uh, I think I'll get just the one in case I fuck up and survive till later winter. So if I survive till the second winter comes around, I can just try again with the other egg. Fuck you, handy little son of a bitch. I, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take the stand. Also, I just happened to be at that level of insanity, and I killed a, just a bird beardling at that one place, and I got a nightmare fuel, which is badass as all hell. Uh, one more log should do it. Here we go. Chester. Oh yeah, Chester was full of a bunch of shit I forgot I left in him, but I picked up the hammer along the way because that could be useful. Hey, ugly. Those things are bitches. And you can't burn them is the bad part. You can't burn those bastards. Although, although, believe me, I've tried. And those eyes were just floating there. Menacingly. Hey, bird bitch. Yeah, they're pretty easy to aggravate, I don't think. Oh, I forgot to warm you up on fire. You fox stick. You fucker. How dare you. Oh, bird bitch. I'll knock you upside the fucking head. Leave Chester alone! Fuck off! Thank you. Oh fuck. Attacking Chester, my poor my poor buddy. What do you do to you, you little fuck? Anyway, let's take this bitch. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, Chester. Come along, Chester. Yellow baby. Alright, I'll teach you how to nurse this thing when I get back to camp, because right now. I'm on the risk of freezing my ass off. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Well, look what happened to show up. It's literally the same day and it just thawed out of the fucking snow. But it's still a little chilly, so I have to be careful. Man, that fucking sucks. I thought I'd have some time to raise this little bitch, but I guess not. Oh well. He'll increase my sanity, so that's nice. Um... Anywho, so yeah, winter's over. <laughs> I had over what two episodes. <laughs> of course, I did a lot of the winter off camera because, again, most of it was just me sitting at base, chilling out. Oh, look what decides to fucking show up. I'll be right back. The hunt calls. The prey has been spotted. Sounds of you stupid motherfucker. Oh, oh, what you gonna do now? Oh, oh, come here, you big bitch. You're gonna get wrecked. And dead. Oh, oh right. Come here. Quickly. Get into my bag. Oh, shit. Chester, hold this gross thing for me. 
Alright, where are we? Oh, we're just north of home. Yay! Hunt. So this is how it went. It was just like... Whoop. <laughs> so, that was quite an eventful episode. So, I'll teach you how to nurse this thing. And then we'll uh, call her good for now. But, pretty simple. Treat it like you would a mother bird. Make sure the bitch doesn't freeze. And make sure it doesn't cook itself. So you have to just find the right idea of where to put it, and it's usually right about here, but I kind of put a lot of logs on it, so just watch it. If it starts smoking and sweltering, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, it's hatching! Yay! Don't get your hopes up. That thing's gonna take at least seven days before it actually, you know, hatches. So, yeah... Mama Warpster here is gonna kick some motherfucking ass when you are big and strong. But. You. It's still a little bit of winter time left, so I can't exactly leave him alone. Or go out adventuring as much. So, just keep an eye on him. You got him at the perfect distance. Make sure he doesn't turn into an ice block or start swell sweating. And if he does, just move him away. Or pick him up, move him away, or get him, get him closer to the fire. You know, basic mothering necessities. Jerky solves all problems. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is Warpster77, Mama Warpster, signing out. Hope to see you all in the next video. Asta.